right, now we're going to look at accelerated stalls, but in the vertical plane. We're just doing an accelerated turn, except we're going up, uh, up and down, it's in a loop. You'll see that you can stall at any attitude, any airspeed. We're at 4,500, indicating 140 knots. We've got plenty of speed for a loop. Everything looks good on the engine. So watch what happens now as I stall the airplane during this loop. Up we go. Straight ahead pull. We're nice and smooth. We're not stalling. We're just going to a loop. We come over the top. We're a little light in the seat. So even though we're going slow, we're not going to stall. Now watch what happens as I come back down this backside, though. Motor City traffic. I'm going almost straight down. If I start to pull too hard, there's the stall. I'm going almost straight down. If I start to pull too hard, there's the stall. We come back over the top again. There's a the stall. Motor traffic, Maverick. There's a stall. There's a stall. And there we are. We come back over the top again. There's a stall. Motor traffic, Maverick. There's a stall. There's a stall. And there we are. We're accelerating. We're through 120 knots. 140 knots. We come back up again. Boulder traffic, set down. Upside 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 down. Five three three at Delta. There's a stop over city. Woo. But you have to pull a lot of G about five G's to get it to stall coming down accelerating. But you can see what happens. All we have to do is change the aircraft's attitude faster than its flight path, and we get a high angle of attack even though we're heading downhill. Try another one, here we go. If you did that in a normal airplane, you'd pull the wings off because we're pulling about uh, five to six Gs.